Still to come, the artistic side of cowboy gear, handmade at the Riccati Saddle Company. If you want to discover the authentic American West, step into an authentic Western store like the Riccati Saddle Company in Clements, California, where Rick and Susan Riccati will indeed welcome you to come on in and take a look. And there's lots to look at. People come in and you don't realize it because we look at it every day, but when uh, they'll come in and, and they'll spend hours just looking. The Northern California shop specializes in the kind of handmade leather goods and silver work you just don't see very often. Work created by some of the best known artisans in the Western world. Doug Krause makes the Makati's. Marty Elmore does uh, some strap work for us. The silver on the spur straps, Rob Shazlang made. It's a, uh, like a heavy garment leather. Riccati's creates their own Western jewels in the saddle shop attached to the retail store. I actually did the silver and the leather myself on this. Custom briefcases. There are photo notebooks filled with the one-of-a-kind leather goods that have been crafted in this store over the years. Um, this is a waste basket that we made. Denver Stock Show. We were their West Coast saddle maker. They commissioned, uh, I think it was four saddle makers to make their 100th anniversary saddle. Uh, you can see this piece right here? That's the binding, and this is rawhide. Rick Staff built this saddle and rebuilt all 14 saddles used by the mounted officers of the San Francisco Police Department. And they had a capital improvement project where um, over a period of time, we've replaced all of those saddles. Just as fascinating as this shop and its and merchandise is the story behind it. The movie posters on the wall provide a clue. They're all Westerns, films that Rick and Susan's kids and grandkids have worked in doing horseback riding stunts. Granddaughter Cassidy Heiss is a champion barrel racer whose Western film credits include Cowboys and Aliens and The Hateful Eight. I have four kids that rodeoed and when they were young, they ruined a lot of equipment, <laughs> broke a lot of things. And, and that's how I started, I just started by fixing it, and I kind of got hooked on it, and, uh, and so here I am. Actually, um, he didn't like my uh, repairs of horse blankets. They well, were, well, that's how the very beginning, how it started. And so okay? he took it's, that over, and then... <laughs> repairing horse blankets? Yes. Uh, our own? Our own, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and I'm looking at the way she pats it, and I'm well, thinking, these can't you like do like any better than this? <laughs> and she said, well, go ahead, do it yourself. So that's the very beginning. At that time, the family lived in fast-growing Hollister, California, where Rick worked for a civil engineering firm and Susan was in the insurance business. But Rick's hometown had grown way too big. One day I went home and I, I said, you know, I think I'm gonna quit my job. And I wanna see if I can make saddles and see if we can get it to work. And I, she said, oh, okay, she said, uh, maybe I'll quit mine too. She said, and uh, why don't we sell our place and move someplace quiet? They bought this century old building in the late 1980s and a saddle maker and silversmith friend offered to help them get started. She said, well, she said, why don't you come to my shop sometime and, and, and I, you know, I'll help you. And uh, so, that afternoon, I went home, changed my clothes, got in my truck, went to his place, and I was waiting for him when he got there. Business blossomed as Riccati's became known for its focus on quality gear with an artistic flair. Of course, this is very opinionated on my part, but California has always been the leader, the trendsetter when it comes to tack, the artistic part of tack. Okay, a lot of silver. A lot of silver before horse shows. They used a lot of silver in California. That was a plus for us, so, so we could do some kind of extravagant things. And so those extravagant things, I think, uh, helped us. Because you, uh, pretty tough to make a living uh, making rough out saddles. You know, it's not gonna work. And the quality of their work created some amazingly loyal and trusting customers. We actually had some customers that sent us a check filled out with everything except the amount and say, 
you fill in the amount. And that always, that, that has always meant a lot to Susan and I because uh, there's not too many people I'd send a check to and leave the amount blank. Ricottis used to hit the road most every weekend to sell their wares at rodeos and horse shows, but they've dropped the road trips and scaled back a bit. At one time in here, we had six guys and me. You know, we were sending quite a bit of stuff to Europe. Anyway, it just got kind of top heavy. There's still lots of work and a waiting list of over a year for a new custom saddle. Rick designed the shop's clever double R logo that looks like the front of a saddle, and he still loves to create, but he's too busy dealing with customers and phone calls to do much of the work himself. But that's okay. After all, the people are the best part of the business. Well, I think it's their values. Pretty much anybody that likes dogs and horses are, are, are pretty likable people. And you're always welcome to stop in just to take a look and get a sense of what the authentic American West is all about. That's it for now. We're back next time with more cool stuff from today's Wild West. I'm Mark Bedore. We'll see you down the trail. For more information on the people and places featured in today's Wild West, or to order show DVDs and books, visit todayswildwest.com.